in order to create or design a survey on Google Drive you will need to have an account on Gmail with Google and once you enter your Gmail account information then sign in and if you land into your mailbox then go and click on this icon here on the top right and then select the Google Drive once you have selected the Google Drive then go and click create and then click on spreadsheet once that empty spreadsheet loads in then you can rename this spreadsheet by clicking on the name section here and let's say sample survey sample survey here and click OK so this sheet has been renamed and now you can select tools and from the tools menu click on the create a form once you click on the create a form then you will see a form will load but the basic options which are default options at this time is require Kada Solutions Inc. login to view this form. So uncheck this so that you can send this email or form to anyone in the class and then also click on themes to browse for themes that which you can use I am going to select the one with the blue header so that my form looks little nicer and now this sample survey is the heading of my form and if I want to add description of this survey I can add description here this is a sample form to be used for circulating a survey in my class so here you have option one if you want the person to identify himself who is submitting the response you can simply say edit and here the question title is you can say your name and the question type is multiple choice by default these are all types of the question you can ask text is a small text like name address something paragraph text is a longer piece of text that you can choose multiple choice is something else but because you want to the person's name so therefore you just say name and the question type is text and if you would like this question to be answered essentially then required question so the person cannot submit their response unless they fill in this field and here are the data validation rules for data validation rules this is not checked right now if you check it and then here if this question was uh, expecting a number as an answer then the number you can say that what should be the number like if you were asking about the age of a person then the number should be between 0 and 100 so that nobody no respondent can fail in 1000 because 1000 years is not a legitimate age but if you want if, if this question was expecting text, text then select the text and it must contain or do not contain or if it was email address or URL 
So depending upon these are the data validations. If you use data validations, that's fine. And if you don't want to use any data validation, then just click done. Therefore, when the form is delivered now, this red dot shows that the respondent has to enter his name. Without entering his name, he won't be able to answer any question. So next, we are going to add another question here. And for that, we are going to say duplicate. And this time, what we are going to see is our question will be that watch the video below and rate quality of the video. So here, and because this is a rating that you can choose, so with the question type we should expect is a scale. And the default is between 1 to 5, 1 being the worst quality, and 5. In fact, you can choose between up to 10. Like you can scale it from 1 to 10 or 1 to 6, 1 to 5, but the initial scale selected is 1 to 5, so I'm going to be fine with that one. The worst, and here it's very like, like very much like it very much so on this scale the respondent has to answer so we are going to say done this would be the question and now we are going to add a video with it so we're going to say add item and on the item in fact, if you want to that video to appear on a separate page, then you can say that click on that page break or section header, depending upon whatever you want. Let me enter a section here. So here it is video to watch and then done and here let's add a video here and here if you don't know the video search the video here so I would say endangered species endangered species search all the videos with this name and endangered animal this is uh, one minute it's a very small video that we should take a look on this one select this one and if you have the direct URL then you can enter the URL as well and here is the video title that's endangered endangered species and here it's Grizzly bear. No. All right. We. If depends upon how you want this video. This video actually you can make it bigger or smaller by dragging it, or you want this center or left or even right so it depends where you want this video to appear on the form and say done well this is our survey and now for circulating it we have many options and those options will be available to you when you say send form on send form either you can click on this embed and embed will give you an HTML code and if you cut and paste this code on any web page there will be a link created with width of 760 and height of 500 
that form will be available on that web page. But if you don't want this type of response, then you can also share it via Google Plus or Facebook or Twitter and people can submit and see your form on your Facebook account or your Google Plus account or Twitter account or even you can send this form via email and for that purpose here I'm gonna send this by email admin at cadets.ca and send this form so the form is sent to that email address or as many email addresses you can choose but you can also see on the top view form live this is how the form is going to look like on the other end in the email see it's nice and you can submit the response here here I would identify as myself as Mr. A and submit so let me mark it as this submit the answer so see some sample survey the response has been recorded submit another response so let me see as B and this time I like it very much so therefore I submit it again submit another form my name this time is H I like it very much submit the response submit the people those who you have circulated this form in the email they will be seeing this form in their email and once they enter their name and make a choice and submit these all these answers are going to come back to you without any intervention so now we are going to close this one and go back to our view responses tab and those responses are have arrived I would say that form responses and you can see that A's response, B's response and H's response the, these responses came at this time and automatically they got appended in the form responses sheet and now if you want to analyze suppose you had hundreds or thousands of the responses that way hmm. summary of the responses is this so far we had uh, received three responses and this is what the analysis is that watch the video below and read the quality of this was the question we asked and 33% uh, gave it a rank of 1 and 67% like 2 out of 3 gave it 5 nobody selected 4 so it received maximum rank ranking uh, it received was 5 so this is the graph that's how we can use this form